So it's about half seven in the morning. The midges. <laughs> the midges. But uh, sea breeze should be picking up soon. So this is the last day on Sky. This is our last proper day in Scotland. We've got most of the day on Sky today because we couldn't get the ferry till about five o'clock tonight. And it'll probably take us about an hour, an hour and a half to get to the ferry from here. So I have to find something to do today. I might go to the ferry pools. I might just do some fishing. Um, I might drive round to where we get the ferry and uh, have a look around that area, spend some time there. <coughs> and then we've got one more camp tonight in Scotland. Somewhere. Uh, once we get off the ferry, in the lake area or further afield if we feel like it. And tomorrow we'll be going home. It's another beautiful day. The weather's great again. It's uh, unheard of, really, to be in Scotland this long and not have any bad weather. I mean, look, we've been here now. Nearly two weeks, and my waterproof coat and trousers are still in the bag. I'm still in the rucksack. I've not got them out. I've never, ever, ever done that. And I've been to Scotland many, many times. It's normally the first thing that comes out of your bag is your jacket. It's just not happened. Look at the view. campsite here at Glen Brittle and we've driven up this small road loads of passing places and we've come along here back onto the A87 along here and then we've took the A851 down to Armadale where we'll catch the ferry and we're currently somewhere about here Stunning views along here. 
And the one thing I will say about driving on Sky is once you get off the uh, A87, the main road that runs north-south, the roads get worse in the condition. A lot of the small roads have got a lot of really big, deep potholes in, so just be careful. Take your time. to the mainland, mainland Scotland. There's a couple of little shops and a calf and things like that here. Very nice, very scenic. Gorgeous weather again. <laughs> Mind yourself. 
So what are we doing? We are putting the fish. We're taking the um, guts out because we're not going to be cooking these until later on, are we? Mm -hmm. And we don't want them to go off. So, yeah. see that? Mm -hmm. That's its butthole. <laughs> okay. We're using, go back a bit, we're using this knife because it's the sharpest knife we've got. It's actually a carving knife, a wood carving knife. Right? So you go in there. In the butt. In the butt. Oh, uh, is that all poo? No, oh, it's, it's in it. I've never seen the inside of the fish before. Oh, I'm getting away from that. should really be able to do it without damaging all the insides but that looks horrible. Can you open it up? That's blank. Can you stand that smell? It's not like that, mate. Well, it is for me. There's all its heart, lungs, well, not lungs, I ain't got lungs, it's a fish. We'll put the camera on there. Yeah, so that's clean. Just, we'll give it a swirl with some water. Can you, without, can you turn the tap on without, just a bit? Go on, ready? Is it? <sighs> right, put that one back in the bag. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's horrible.
We got the ferry from uh, Armadale over to Malag. And uh, we went to Malag last year, so we knew about this road uh, that goes south along here, narrow road with passing places. And we knew there were a couple of campsites along here. So we were hoping we could get into one, and we have. We've got into this one at uh, Race Pole, something like that, just off the A861. And uh, the guy's been great. He was pretty busy, but he's, he's found us a pitch just, uh, just there. Alfie and Julie setting up. And um, we've got the lock here, so we'll, we'll go down there later and uh, have a fire and cook the pollock that we caught. Just grill them on the fire. Quite a busy site, very nice. 26 quid for the night, so he's on par with everywhere else we've been really. And uh, that means that in the morning we're only about 20 mile from Corran Ferry, which is a very short crossing. It takes us uh, off of this sort of islandy type thing uh, and puts us south of Fort William. It's about a 10 minute crossing. It's about, last year it was about eight quid. And then it's um, back down the main roads back on. So it's our last night on the shores of Loch Sunart. Got a fire going. We're gonna cook the pollock that we caught with some rice. And that'll do. That's us done drive home tomorrow which is quite apt because of thunderstorms forecast With a fire, the side of the lock, and I can hear a noise in the water. It's like a plopping noise rather than a splash. So I don't think it's a fish. I think it could be a knot. People have been talking about otters on this lock, but it's so dark I can't really see. Definitely from that direction. But it's a perfectly still night, which doesn't help with images, but the smoke is uh, keeping most of them away. A nice fire tonight as well. So it's our last morning in Scotland and uh, just packing up and in true Scottish tradition it's raining so looks like our holidays come to an end just as the weather turns as well so yeah, works out well so we've just got to drive down the road get the ferry over to the Corn Ferry and then um, back down to Glasgow and all that back to Telford.
the green welly uh, if you're a climber mountaineer and you come up to Glencoe, Fort William whatever then you'll be familiar with the green welly at uh, Tindrum, Crinlarach just about everybody stops here uh, fills up fuel, puts food, drink it's a bit of an oasis So we're back at Abington Services where two weeks ago last night we were recovered and taken to Perth uh, due to the wheel falling off. So got no problems at the moment. We'll stop for a brew. But I think I'm gonna go down and check all the wheel nuts just the same. doing the North Coast 500 you should definitely come and do it. You don't have to follow the guide route, make up your own route, do what you want to do, see what you want to see. I hope you have the weather that we had and uh, just get on and do it. 